I've never admitted to anyone before, but uh, I've constantly found it impossible to open one of these cartons of milk properly. Try as I might over the years, the perfect way has eluded me. And at times it's left me depressed, frustrated and uh, wondering about my manual dexterity. And I can imagine to a person who's a little bit emotionally unstable, the trauma of trying to open one of these cartons could have devastating psychological effects. It appears quite simple if you follow the instructions. It says uh, to open here and uh, you press back the folds like this. But that's when the tricky part comes in trying to get the spout up. And invariably I've been forced to put my finger in the hole here and uh, goodness knows what sort of germs have been getting into my milk. I've, uh, I've been ashamed to tell anybody of my inadequacy because I thought I was alone in my struggle against technology. But it appears I'm not really alone after all. Oh, yeah. You're tearing it. Oh, yes, but that's not bad, is it? Well, that's fair enough. <laughs> you have to put your finger in, do you? I do. Yeah. Here. Not right? Oh, I don't know. It's not very hygienic, is it? No. It's a little bit hard to get... Oh, you, no. you put your finger in the spout, do you? Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Quite you, easily. You did that quite, uh, quite quickly, do you? Open those sort of cartons off? No, not very often. We use bottled milk, actually. Well, this carton of milk, you know, I pick it up and I go, ah! And then it never pours like that, so I start at the other end and go like that again. And in the end, I've got two ends, and when I tip it up, it's spitting out both ends, you see? So yeah. I'm having all kinds of trouble. And then I stick it in the fridge, and the kids come along, and they start one end, and that's it. So it's a bit of, no oh, go, it's a bit of a go. mess, isn't it? <laughs> Watching them march innocently off the production line, you'd hardly realise what torment they've caused the housewife. When the cartons first became popular about four years ago, the manufacturers took great pains in explaining the right way of opening them. And believe it or not, there is a right way. Examine the two open sign, take it with two fingers, push back, and form a, a throat section. That seems amazingly simple. Why is it that uh, people have so much trouble, do you think? Well, I think one of the problems that strike is going to the wrong end of the carton. In that case, you have difficulty because of very definite adhesion between the two faces. What about, what about people who, who open at the right end, though? What happens there? Well, I think if they do not form that correct return action, attempt to pick it with their fingers or thumbs... Well, a lot of people stick their grubby little finger in, that's don't right. they? Well, that's right. It's not very hygienic, is no it? No far from it. So I think the action is to push back the two wings such that you can spring that throat formation. So can I just try the right way out? Please go one? ahead. So I still have difficulty. Yes, Maybe you still have that trouble there, don't you? My fingers are sore on the end. Perhaps that's why. They're always yes. sore with housework. OK? Thank you. Now, uh, you say you've given these away? Yes. Uh, why don't you have them? In fact, have, uh, two. have two. Thanks a lot. Ciao. Well, it seems all my problems are solved now that I know how to do it. I'll just go through it. See how it's done. Uh, you open it up here and now you pull the folds back. That's what I wasn't doing before. I was putting my finger in. And you, uh, you press the uh, you press the spout up. I'm having a bit of trouble with this one. You press the spout up like that and... Uh, simple as that.